Slay your dragon. Good morning, it's Ian Koniak, and today's tip of the day is to slay your dragon. And if you don't know what that means, I'm talking about crushing it in your business. Whether you work in sales or you own a business or you're an entrepreneur, whatever it is, the key to confidence is to slay your dragon. Meaning, get the results. Be the very, very top dog in your craft first, okay? A lot of people are drifting. There's a lot of people who are dabbling. They get to the surface and they don't really finish or they try something, they finish and they didn't get the results and then they move on to something else. If you want to be truly impactful, truly influential, you want to truly make a difference in the world, what you first must do is make a difference for yourself by performing at your highest level. The reason I am doing these videos, the reason I am trying to um, make an impact and motivate others is because I have done the job of crushing it in sales for the better part of 17 years. And not only crushing it, but crushing it at a level that has made me live the life of my dreams, right? And, and save the kind of money to buy multiple houses, to drive a, a wonderful car, to provide for my family where my, my, my wife can be a full-time mom. And now it's not about money anymore for me. It's about impact and service. But I'll tell you, a lot of people are trying to make an impact and serve, but they haven't done the job yet that they're trying to serve. They haven't gone in and gotten the results themselves. So if you haven't gotten the results yourself, how on earth are you supposed to teach others how to do it? Okay. In order to have confidence to move forward and make the biggest difference in the world, you must first perform at the highest level where you then can know what it takes to be successful. And then you can go teach it or then you can go um, write a book about it or whatever it is, but you have to do it first. So I just, th there's a cycle uh, of, of this that I think is really, really important. It's really important. I didn't have the confidence or the courage to get on and start teaching and doing what I'm doing until I had gotten to the point where I finished number one at Salesforce. I was almost 400% a plant in the enterprise select division, which is, you know, the elite of the elite within Salesforce. Then I did it another year and finished in the top 10 where I'd sold $10 million in uh, just a couple years. So I said, okay, I could not keep this just to myself. I have to teach what I've been doing and how I've been doing it. But I cannot do that until I had gotten to that point. Before I ever, and I'll share a quick story with you and then we're done. Before I ever got to the point where I was crushing it in Salesforce, I actually hit a rock bottom. I, I had missed my quota three years in a row, two years by a lot, another year just by a fraction, by one deal, I was almost 100%. And that year I missed it by the fraction. What happened was I was in a, uh, I was in a, uh, it was a Chinese company called Faraday Future and I was told I was getting a $200,000 deal which would have put me over my plan and I went to their office and I stayed there all day long, get the order farms, sign and um, you know everyone's leaving the office I'm like wait a minute what's going on but the president of the company said hey I'll stay and I'll talk to you and we'll meet me at five so I stayed to five and five o'clock passes now it's six o'clock still not there seven o'clock she finally meets with me and she's like what do you got what do I have to sign today this was January 31st the last day of our fiscal year and I said I have this great deal for you and it's going to help your business in so many ways and went through my whole spiel and she said that sounds good give me give me some few minutes I need to call China she calls the CIO in China can't get a hold of him and tells me I can't sign unless my CIO approves it from our parent company which was um, the Chinese holding company and I was crushed but I hadn't given up. Maybe it's like eight or nine at this point. And she's like, I got to go, but you know, um, good luck. And so I'm like, I got to track down the CIO myself. And so I, I literally, I don't remember how I did it, but I somehow got his cell phone. Maybe it was an old email signature, called him in China. And he's like, I'm on vacation. I'm not, I don't, not doing this right now. I'm sorry. And I remember sitting in my bed and it was 1145 and all he had to do was click the DocuSign and I would have got to my number. And instead I was this short and I said, never again, never again. 
And what I hadn't done at that point in Salesforce, I had been hovering around plan. I had just missed my plan. I had made it two years. I missed it two years. And I, this was the third year where now I, I barely missed it. And so my confidence was shattered. And I'm like, I don't know what to do. I need to um, get help. And that's when I started truly investing in a sales course um, and getting a coach and joining a mastermind and basically surrendered and said, I, I don't know what I don't know, but I, I, I know I need help. And so with that, I ended up, that was the year after when I invested myself and I ended up, uh, ended up finishing number one and then um, back to back years, uh, top performer. And now this year is, is tracking really well as well. So uh, I guess the point of this story is like, you, you got to focus on one thing, give it your all, do everything you can to be the very best, stay 100% laser focused. And once you have proven to yourself that you're able to do the job, do it really well, that's when you can potentially go somewhere else. That's when you can try somewhere else. That's where you can teach, right? But until you've really given it your all, you're going to struggle with confidence. You're going to struggle with um, doubting yourself, right? Once you get to this point where you break through the wall and you crack and you actually fulfill your potential in the job you're doing, that's when the doors open up as far as possibilities for the future and endless possibilities because you have this this unwavering belief in yourself. But maybe you can talk a talk and say, yeah, I believe in myself. I can do anything. But the reality is until you've actually done it, that's all just fluff. That's all just noise that you're telling yourself. It's great to believe in yourself. I'm the first person that'll advocate for that, right? But you need to actually take the belief, combine it with execution and actually do the job and succeed to truly have that inner confidence Otherwise, it's just words saying, yeah, I believe in myself. Yeah, I'm great. But the doing and the succeeding is where you will get your power from. It's where you're going to get your internal, what we call unconscious competence, right? So unconscious competence is you unconsciously are really good at something. Unconsciously really good at human connection, sales, um, impact, whatever the stuff I'm at. It, I've been doing it so long that it's, it's, it's so natural to me. So... That's all I got for you. I'm rambling a little bit, so I'll close it out. Have a great day.